Hey, this is Chuck Dixon with another episode of What You're Watching. People ask me all the time, what do you think of this TV show? Or what do you think of that movie? Probably because I'm an opinionated guy. <laughs> and I'm a professional writer. People are often curious what my take is on things. And also, I, I put uh, movie reviews up at my website, uh, chuckdixon.net, as well as posting them on Facebook. So people want to know what I'm watching. So let's, uh, let's check out Netflix. Some things that uh, you might have missed. Trouble with these streaming services is, is that there's so much content, uh, sometimes you miss stuff. It slips through the cracks. You weren't even aware it was on until it's gone. And uh, we're going to start out with a classic, The Outlaw Josie Wales. One of the finer westerns made by Clint Eastwood. Uh, and the guy's got a track record of some of the best westerns ever made. This one's a, a total classic. Uh, Clint plays a... Uh, uh, Former Confederate guerrilla fighter who won't surrender. He's not going to give up his guns. He's not going to surrender at all. He's not going to bend a knee to them Yankee bastards. So he goes running off uh, to down the outlaw trail to uh, leave Missouri to go down to Texas. And uh, he picks up some friends along the way, including Chief Dan George, who has some of the film's most priceless lines. And this is in a movie filled with priceless lines. I think the only movie I ever hear people quote more often than this movie is uh, possibly Caddyshack. Uh, it, it's, the dialogue in this film is terrific. It's authentic. Uh, it's often funny or ironic or, well, in so many ways. Uh, one of my favorite lines of dialogue is spoken by uh, Bill McKinney. Uh, it's one I quote often. Uh, Bill McKinney is Captain Redlegs. He, he leads the band of... Uh, of uh, Union soldiers who are tasked with tracking down all of these runaway outlaws. And he's particularly determined to get a hold of, of Josie Wales and willing to follow him down to Texas, even if it means leaving his own jurisdiction. Uh, when he does this, when he's about to uh, cross the river and leave his jurisdiction, uh, a number of his men say, hey, you know, Wales got away. We're not going to catch him now. He's gone. Uh, we, we did our job. Th this is the end. To which Captain Redleg says, doing good ain't got no end. Uh, to which a, 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 this uh, elderly hillbilly woman sitting on a porch starts cackling. <laughs> it's, doing good ain't got no end is the greatest summation of governmental overreach I've ever heard anywhere. And uh, it's particularly poignant here. Um, the, the film is remarkable for its authenticity and weaponry and clothing and all the rest of it. And also its depiction of Native Americans. Here, here's Will Sampson as uh, Chief Ten Bears. Uh, he has a, a fantastic scene with Clint Eastwood where basically they come to terms. And um, it's just the whole thing is just a, a, a hell of a ride. Uh, it's a true Western epic, uh, beautifully photographed, directed by Clint. And it's most remarkable for the fact that it's based on a novel called Gone to Texas by Forrest Carter. And the, the film is maybe the most faithful adaptation of a book to screen I've ever seen in my life. Um, almost, I think 90% of the dialogue in the movie is right out of the book, completely unaltered. Uh, Clint doesn't fool around with the plot. He, he does a little bit of monkeying at the end because, you know, film and prose are two different mediums. He does a little bit of monkeying with the end of the book, but nothing that hurts it, nothing that changes anything in any material way. Uh, but uh, my impression is, is that uh, Clint Eastwood really liked this book and he was determined to do a, uh, a good job of, of uh, bringing it uh, into the uh, cinema realm. Okay, Wind River is kind of a Western. Uh, Jeremy Renner <clears throat> is a game warden in Wyoming in the dead of winter when uh, a... Uh, body of a young girl is found out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of, you know, where she had no business being in this kind of weather. And uh, he's determined to find out who did it. Uh, it's, it's kind of a whodunit Western, but it's by Taylor, Taylor Sheridan, the creator of the TV series Yellowstone and uh, the author of the Sicario movies. So, you know, you're in for a good time. You know, you're in for a real, real world grounded, action film with a lot of thought behind it. Uh, Renner, Renner is quite the chameleon, and he's very good here in basically the Western lawman role, 
Uh, you know, he's got a, a shadowy past. He's a little angsty. He's a loner. The perfect Western hero, in other words. And uh, he's aided by Elizabeth Olsen as an FBI agent who's kind of a fish out of water, dropped into this situation. She's in way over her head. It's her first real investigation. And uh, she's got to rely on uh, basically, you know, a game warden to help her solve this case. I mean, he's no detective, but he knows the area. And, uh, you know, it's a good procedural, police procedural mystery. Uh, the suspense ratchets up, you know, to an excruciating level by the end of the film. And the, the film's action climax, uh, the shootout, I mean, come on, you knew there was a shootout coming. I'm not spoiling anything. But the shootout is, um, is it, it, it's one for the books. It's, it's, it's one of the best shootouts I've ever seen on film. Uh, it's realistic. There's no, you know, super heroics or anything else. And I like the way that it just sort of begins. You know, the, it, you know in, it, these violent confrontations like this in real life, if you've ever read like eyewitness accounts and police reports, uh, when the ball gets rolling, you didn't see it coming. It just starts things, bad things just start happening. And that's basically the basis of uh, the climax of this film. But it's excellent. You, you definitely should catch it if you like this kind of movie. The Dig. The Dig is a drama. Uh, it's a British-made drama. It stars Ray Fiennes and Carrie Mulligan. And uh, Carrie Mulligan, uh, her husband dies. It takes place in 1938. Her husband dies and leaves her property uh, and on the property are these mounds, and these mounds are understood to be relics from the past, from, from Britain's distance past, and she wants them investigated. She hires Ray Fines, who's, um, you know, he's not an educated guy, but he's a digger. Uh, he knows excavation, and he's done this before. He, he knows how to dig, how to dig carefully to preserve any kind of uh, archaeological record, and it's a it's a great period piece um, as they, and this is based on a true story. It's, it's the story of the discovery of a boat that was nearly a thousand years old, uh, hidden in this mound of dirt uh, at a, um, a farm in a place called Sutton Hoo. And it's, it's the earliest record of basically civilized people uh, on the British Isles. Uh, you know, we were talking about Stonehenge age, and it was quite the remarkable find. And the stories about the pair of them, uh, you know, uh, Ray Fiennes and, and Carrie Mulligan, and how you know the relationship between them, and the struggles they have to go through, and challenges from academia and things like that. Um, but it's 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 a good thought provoking drama. It's a great character study, and a terrific period film. So. Um, Check it out. There's a few things in it I didn't like, and it turns out they had no part in the true story. They were fictional add-ons, um, I guess, you know, to appeal to, I don't know who. <laughs> not to me. Okay, just to show you, I'm not just here to stump for Netflix. <laughs> but I, don't, I don't love everything they put on. I certainly don't. Here's Six Underground. <laughs> this, is a, this is a train wreck <clears throat> put together by Michael Bay. It stars Ryan Reynolds playing the same character he always plays. Uh, you know, <clears throat> just a complete smartass. And he leads some sort of mercenary team, and they're after some kind of MacGuffin, and they're going all over the world having car chases and fist fights and gun battles. Uh, the biggest crime of this film, other than the fact that it's completely witless, and it's an utter waste of your time, is the waste of uh, Melanie Laurent, a, a very good French actress. And uh, every scene with her is awesome. Every scene without her is a complete and utter travesty. <laughs> so, but it's Michael Bay indulging his worst instincts. The sad thing is Michael Bay can make a good movie. If you've ever seen Pain and Gain, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this is just him indulging all of his worst uh, instincts. <laughs> it's, it's just uh, phantasmagorical. It doesn't play, take place in anything like the real world. It's just ridiculous from beginning to end, and the humor falls flat. Nothing really works. Uh, it's just a nutso gonzo. You know, maybe if you were 12, you'd really dig this movie. But if you're an adult with any kind, any level of intelligence, taste, or refinement, or, or expectations of uh, logical uh, 
entertainment, uh, yeah, check something else out. Uh, do what I do. Rewatch a movie you already know is good <laughs> rather than taking a chance. So uh, if you want to see it anyway, I warned you. Hey, if you have a movie, TV show, you're curious about what I think about it. I don't know why you would, but some people are. Uh, and you want to start a dialogue or whatever, contact me at brunobookstore at gmail.com. brunobookstore at gmail.com. And that's the most reliable way to get a hold of me. And while we're here and while I got your attention, check out ArcTunes. ArcTunes is a brand new, well, not brand new. It's several months old now, but we got 2 million views. Um, it's a brand new digital comics platform. It's free. There's dozens and dozens of storylines there. They're updated weekly. It's in high resolution. You can read it on any device up to the big screen TV in your family room. That's how crystal clear the images are. And uh, there's espionage, there's horror, there's fantasy, there's crime action, there's humor, um, science fiction, anything you want. And I'm doing a, the bulk of my comic book writing is over there. So if you want to see new material by me, this is the place to check it out. So uh, I'd appreciate it if you would. Anyway, that's it for me for this week. We'll see you next week, and I'll tell you more about what I'm watching.